about what goes into the college binder. That is what this video is going to discuss, the college binder. Okay, so you have to get organized because you have a very big task ahead of you. You have to get into college. And there are a lot of forms, there are a lot of essays, you have all these brochures, and so we're going to make what we call the college binder. Your college binder is going to be a three ring binder. And inside of your three ring binder, you're going to use certain things to help you get organized. You will need sheet protectors. You will also need dividers. You will need some paper. And for paper, go ahead and put both types of paper. You'll need notebook as well as just some blank writing or typing copy paper. You'll need those types of things. I also advise you to get some post-it notes. So let's talk about these items, why they're important, and what you're going to use them for. Of course, you'll need a three ring binder. Let's get one. Okay. So you need a three ring binder. Your three ring binder, an inch, inch and a half, two inches at the most. But you'll need a three ring binder to hold your college information. You might want to go with a larger binder, binder because you're going to put all of your pamphlets, all your brochures, all your catalogs in one location. But this is a three ring binder. I prefer that you get one with the clear front and back so you can put a sheet of paper in here to label this so we'll know what type of binder this is. This is not to be used as your everyday notebook with all of your classes and we're just going to put college things in the back. This is a separate notebook, the college binder. When you open your college binder, of course you have your dividers and you're going to divide and come up with your own tab system, but you'll need dividers. You'll need sheet protectors. Sheet protectors are the clear plastic um, protectors that we use for sheets of paper. And the reason why sheets, sheet protectors are really important, a lot of times you have handouts, but you don't have a hole puncher. You don't have to worry about a hole puncher because you have a sheet protector. Just slide it in there and it's organized. And that way you're not just putting a lot of things in the flaps of your notebooks. In addition to your sheet protector, I'm asking that you get some paper. And you want to get some paper because sometimes you will be at a college fair, you need to jot down some information, you need to give somebody your number, maybe you met a student or you met an old teacher that you want to give some information to, you may be listening to a brief lecture or presentation and you just want to jot down some information. You'll also need post-it notes. Post-it notes are really good because as you're looking through the catalogs, many of them are hard to write on because they're printed in full color. But if you have your post-it notes, you can just stick little notes with your comments on the items as you're going through them. So these are the things you need to put in your college binder to help you stay organized. And so that's how you organize a college binder.